Can we talk just a couple minutes about Minty Visions, just because I think it looks so great. Um, and I just wanted to know, I guess, first, where did you, Eden, come up with the idea of wanting um, a background sound at, to it? Um, because I like sound. And I've been, I like sensory rooms. I like touching things and finding sounds coming out of them. Woo! Yeah, you... just as a person with disability and likes sensory things, um, I've been to exhibitions that have sensory rooms and stuff, and it makes you feel calm and safe. Uh, and then with the artist that you decided to put in the exhibition, did you always know you wanted to use APA artists or include your friends? And why do you think it's important to include your friends in your projects? Because I love seeing my friends succeed and I love seeing their artwork out there and sp spreading their message along and doing their artwork, showing their talents. It just makes me excited and honored that I could be a part of their lives and do the art with them and show them off. Because why wouldn't you want to show off your friends <laughs> when you're proud of them? How did you guys go about picking the UK artists, the new artists that Eden wasn't already familiar with? Um, Eden, do you want to go or I'll go? He's going to try to remember that um, there are some of the uh, um, queer with disability and of different nationalities as well. And I think I really liked their art because it really spread their message out and what they wanted to say and what they're passionate about. As art is an expression. Art helps people talk when they can't talk sometimes. Because I know that I do artwork. I do artwork when I can't talk sometimes or I show my artwork to explain what I'm doing. And I like seeing all the different artworks from other sides of the world too. And it was really fascinating to see um, all the different perspectives and views of people. Yeah, I think we had especially the first, let's say, maybe three sessions. We had lots of conversations around um, queerness, disability, visibility and invisibility. Um, and I kind of kept referring to artists' works uh, alongside these conversations. And then we kind of made a list. Um, obviously, I would know more uh, about UK artists, UK based artists than Eden. So kind of worked on a list and then we looked at what they do together, discussed their works, and then Eden picked some specific works. With Art Puke, did you always know you want, where did you come up with the idea of wanting something that everybody could contribute to? Um, when the lockdown started, a lot of people couldn't, um, see each other in person and they found this program where um the digital program found this program that we're using now and everybody just drew on it they just started drawing together and doing all this random stuff together and i thought it was really fun and i thought it brought people together and yeah it looked fun let's all do this together it looked fun Just, when we were having a conversation, when we were having the mentorship in the past few months, I think the vibe was still kind of quite uh, lockdown, proper lockdown in Australia now. So it was. Oh, um, yeah. It's only very recently that they've opened up again. Well, now here it feels like the step before lockdown again, kind of, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's kind of, I think it was like a way, it was a playful way to navigate this really weird, you know, times between inside and outside and not being able to be with others as much as we would like to. Yeah. 